Hello there folks, this is Uncle Troy and tonight we are out trying to do some stargazing with our Samsung camera. So far, no good. This is the moon. I have manually adjusted the focus as far to infinity as we can and instead of seeing the moon we've got kind of a bright blur. Uh, there is a tiny bit of haze in the air tonight but I can with my naked eye, I can actually see some detail on the moon, on the moon surface that I cannot at all with my Samsung camera here. I'm hoping it'll look better once I view it on the uh, on the computer. Uh, I've set it into C night mode, and uh, you can access that through the menu uh, button. However, you cannot do it in high definition mode. You cannot do it when you're recording uh, 1280 by 720. Instead, you have to set it down to, um, I think it's 720 by 480 in a widescreen format. And then you can activate C night mode, which I believe every 60th of a second holds the shutter open longer, or maybe holds the shutter open for 1 60th of a second every time it records. I'm not sure because all I know is it's got a little night symbol and 1 slash 60 here. So let's uh, see what else we can find to shoot. All right, by sighting along the top of the camera, I was finally able to shine it at the brightest star in the sky. Uh, let's see how much telephoto we've got left here. Quite a bit. Uh, of course, now I'm not, uh, not focused properly. Let's see. Where are you? And if you're out here with a real telescope, by the way, you have the same problem trying to focus. All right, that's the brightest star in the sky right now. Uh, from my old days of trying to be a stargazer and actually having a small reflective telescope, I believe that would be the planet Jupiter. Or perhaps the star Vega. But, you know, one of the biggest, brightest. And all we have is a tiny flickering dot on the screen. So, I'm going to say, just uh, just off the top of my head here, I think the Samson HMX F80 is not going to be much good for nighttime shots, for uh, looking at the moon, looking at stars, or uh, catching alien spacecrafts as they buzz the house here. Let's see if I can find anything else to shoot. Okay, over here should be the some of the brighter stars of the Big Dipper and I see nothing on the screen here so I don't even know if I'm properly uh, positioning this or not but I do not see any indication that we're actually looking at stars at all I see it's a black sky and this over here should be two fairly bright stars uh, silhouetted against the uh, a tree the tree is considerably darker than the night sky right now. I can see very clearly with my naked eye that there is a tree there. But of course the Samson, near as I can tell, is showing nothing. Okay, I think this is the same bright star we saw before. It's moved a little. Uh, when I zoom out with the... Uh, that's about mid-range zoom and it kind of disappears when I go a little further like that. And again, it comes back as we uh, zoom back in. I'm going to try adjusting the focus manually here. Let's see, where's my menu button? Okay, adjusting the focus. That's an interesting effect. But yeah, looks like I had the focus about as good as it was going to get to start with. Over here at infinite. And the stars don't actually flicker like that, by the way. That's just uh, the effect of uh, the atmosphere. Uh, when the light passes through different, uh, different temperatured air, air with different temperatures, uh, you end up uh, with that effect, kind of the flickering effect. The stars keep moving. That's one of the problems you have uh, with, with astrology is that the stars and the moon and whatnot move. Alrighty, there is the full moon zoomed in as far as it will go. Let me and quit moving. 
trying to lock down this tripod. Anybody besides me getting motion sickness? All right, let's try adjusting the uh, focus. No, but we did manage to get us extra uh, different uh, colors. That's a chromatic aberration that's caused by uh, different uh, wavelengths of light getting uh, getting refracted to a different amount by the uh, let's try adjusting the uh, hey well what do you know EV whatever the heck that is EV set down to the very lowest setting yep EV of a minus two I don't even know what EV is, mind you. But with EV minus two, maximum, uh, I'm gonna try it to get this. All right, stop touching the, uh, the tripod. Okay, so apparently you need to set EV down to minus two and then uh, send it to night mode and something's crawling up my leg stand by okay by setting uh, the EV down to minus two and the night mode in full effect and maximum uh, infinity focus and maximum zoom I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit to get the whole moon in, in. So, all right so that looks pretty darn good. We can actually see some details on the surface of the moon. So now I have to find one of them stars again, which will be a little difficult because uh, the brighter the moon is, the harder it is to see stars. And in fact, the uh, brightness of the full moon works against it. Quit moving around. Yeah. If you actually want to make out details on the surface of the moon, the full moon is actually not always the best time to look at it because of the overall brightness. I still have things crawling up my legs. Okay. Long time, no t long time since I've been out all night. All right, let's see if I can find me a star that I can see and we'll try it with this new setting. All right, I think that is one of the stars we saw earlier. Not any brighter than it was before. Well, maybe a little brighter. I'm trying to find some more uh, stars with uh, multiple stars so we can get some comparison here. Stand by. All righty, can you see the tiny flicker? Oops. I'm about to look, I think I lost it again. There's a tiny flicker that is an airplane of some type, pretty far distance away. Hey, I've lost it. That I was uh, trying to uh, focus on. Okay, there is a star or planet from its reddish tint. I'm going to guess that's Mars, which is probably wrong. Like I said, long time, no astronomy classes. But I know at certain times of year, uh, Venus and Mars are the two brightest uh, stars in the sky, and technically they're planets, not stars. Alrighty, let's see. I think we've got a Ryan's belt over here. Let's see if I can focus in on that. And no, they are just uh, too dim to make out. And that there is a street light, I'd say about uh, half a mile, maybe a kilometer away, give or take. And uh, after adjusting the focus, I can actually see some things around it. I'm not sure what those things are, maybe uh, tree leaves or something. But yeah, we can actually see some of that. And uh, that one's a little farther away and I'm having no, uh, no luck focusing in on it at all. 
So disregard. Alrighty, so here we are again with the moon, and uh, that is unfortunately the best picture of anything I've found out here tonight so far. So I'm going to say that the uh, Samson HMS F80 is good for taking an occasional uh, shot of the moon, and that's about it. Oops. And don't kick your tripod. And here is a loop of me attempting to get the uh, moon to pass directly in front of the camera in time-lapse mode. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work very well as I kept uh, missing it. And most of the recording attempts didn't even record because when you're using the camera in the middle of the night, it's real easy to hit the wrong button. In fact, I uh, attempted to uh, record several other stars and uh, several other uh, lighted items off in the distance and failed because I was hitting the wrong buttons in the dark apparently. Okay so in short I think uh, using the uh, HMX F80 Samsung camera to record the moon seems to be working pretty good and I got pretty good views of the uh, street lamp farther down and some of the things around it but other than that not much uh, good at all. So for stargazing and UFOs, things in the night sky, airplanes, helicopters, uh, it's not going to work very well at all. So you might want to look for a different camera. Okay, this is Uncle Troy signing out. Please have a good night.